Today, we are going to Tokyo, New York, and Mexico to test out the all-new Sony 20-70mm f4 lens. We're here today with the all-new 20-70mm f4 lens for Sony. And it is probably the lens that I'm the most excited about uh, of quite some time. Sony has made the best all-around travel walk-around lens. And uh, I can't believe, I honestly can't believe it, it exists. So I was fortunate enough to use this lens for a variety of different applications from a destination wedding to street and general travel photography to video to landscapes and vlogging. Tomorrow I will actually be releasing a video that specifically talks to this lens's use for weddings, but this video you're watching now will not cover everything wedding, so subscribe, turn the bell on. That video will be up at 9 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Now, I said I would define best and what I mean by best. Usefulness, straight up, it replaces two lenses. I no longer need to bring a wide lens when I just go out in the world. Second, the size, it's very light, very easy to bring with you. And third, the cost. I was blown away when I saw how much this lens cost. I was I saw the Canadian pricing and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I read the US pricing, $1,099 for this lens. And then fourth, the quality. I was very much expecting to see some optical flaws with this lens and it very much exceeded my expectations in every way, as you can see from the images. I was very, very happy to see this and it uh, kind of, the, so the, I did a review of the Tamron 20 to 40 f2.8 a couple of months ago in Morocco and uh, this lens kind of immediately crushes that lens for me that I would rather use this than use that. Also editing note, anytime you see the lens on the screen like now, it is not filmed with the lens, but anytime the lens is not on the screen, it's sample footage from the lens. It's filmed in S hyphen Cinetone and my LUT, uh, you can find them in the description, is added to it at about 70%. I would have assumed at a price point like this that there would be some issues that they're gonna, they're gonna make it great but then they're gonna put a plastic element or something silly to just make the light all crappy and make the lens not as good as it could be so that you're forced to still also buy the 24 to 70 G mass or something like that. But no, if you're happy with F4, this is the lens for you. And I want to show you the versatility of this lens. It's a travel lens. Also, it's after dark. These images are higher ISO and uh, shot at f4. So you can do nighttime photography at f4 if you so desire. Here is the lens at 20. Here it is at 70. All the different frames you can get. Holy crap, wow. Even if you're shooting on the Sony a7R Mark V, you're able to zoom in and you can make this your frame if you want. But I don't recommend it because it's not good. This one's a little bit better. Frames inside frame. Oh, frames. We can't. We can't say frames when we're in Tokyo. Frames. Frames. Does your camera make frames? Frames. Frames. Do you use natural frames? Frames. Frames. Interlinked. It's kind of a lot, isn't it? January twentieth is the last day you can get in on Book More Weddings twenty twenty three. So if you're interested in coming to super cool destinations like here and photographing weddings, get in on Book More Weddings twenty twenty three. It comes with so many bonuses until January twentieth. Just get in before then because after that it's closed until March first. So get in now. There's a link. Go after this video. Let's go back to the, to the lens review. Another benefit of the 20 millimeter lens is the fact that if you are somebody that uses active stabilization as well as focus breathing compensation is that it kind of acts more closer to a 24 millimeter lens. So now you have a 24 to 70 that more or less kind of includes active stabilization as well as focus breathing comp. Uh, so if you do get close, the just, I don't know, it's just, it's a nice experience, active stabilization, super underrated. I feel like a lot of us, especially coming from digital SLRs, any sort of digital stabilization, you were like, no, that's gonna be absolute trash. But active stabilization is honestly kind of amazing. This lens on a prime of 50, maybe 35, you're pretty much set for most things, photography. That includes professional work, that includes portraits, even weddings. 72 millimeter front thread. I don't have anything that's 70, I have 67s and 77s, 82s. But that's fine though. So Lindsay is currently on a phone call, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to you in the washroom about the lens here. This lens, 20 to 70 f4, a lens that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. I feel like I have to get a little bit closer to the mic to minimize the echo. Also, what's going on back here? So this is a, there's a random hole in the shower. It's not a handle, it's just a hole. We're really trying to figure out what this is, so if you know, put it in the comments, please. You also have a fancy new button down here. What this button does is it locks the lens at A. So if you're like me and you just run it on A and you don't actually use the aperture ring, you can just lock it right there. And you're never gonna bump it and accidentally be shooting F22. On the other side, 
click on and off. It's changed to a much more convenient location. There's no reason for it to be a big button. Now down here, if you are somebody that wants to smoothly change in between apertures, you can do that. As you can see, it does extend as you get closer to 70. Then it goes back in when you're at 20. Even when I'm pointing a light directly into the lens, it handles flare very well. There's no ghosting or anything that I see, as you can see in this clip. And this is just me walking with active stabilization on. I mentioned that before, and I really do love active stabilization. Let's do some close focusing. Close focusing is about there. And then if you zoom in all the way to 70, close focusing's there. Background bokeh, 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 pretty circular. There you go, see a little green dot? That looks nice, I think, right? Oh, here comes one. Fantastic travel lens from Sony, something I am very, very, very happy that has been made. It's a product that I've wanted for a long, long time. And uh, happy to, I don't know, it's just this small. Bring it anywhere, it's a new kit lens, and it is one lens, I would say, if you're only going to buy one lens for your Sony camera, I would recommend that it is this one, and that is my honest opinion on it. Uh, it should be maybe the first lens you get, or maybe if you don't have something that covers this range. Just so versatile for a variety of work all across the board. I suspect that this lens, if you want it, uh, get your pre-order in, because judging on what's happened with really in-demand products over the past couple of years, it's been very challenging to get an in-demand lens early on. So get your pre-order in if you do want this lens quickly, because I think that it is going to be a challenging lens to get over the next 12 months. That's all from here in Japan. Subscribe, subscribe to Magic. He's a lovely boy. And I'll see you again another time. And don't forget to check out Book More Weddings 2023. It is available until January 20th. There's a link in the description below.